welcome to Indian Curries and Pickles. The last thing you want to do after cooking is the dishes. And that's where one pot meals come in. And when we mention one pot wonders, the first thing that comes to mind is biryani. Biryani is capable of uniting almost every human in existence. But what about the vegetarian version? Food critics say that there is nothing like vegetarian biryani in existence. But I'm going to create a gourmet style veg version in one pot wonder series. So let me introduce you to the ingredients of the veg version which I've named as Khush Rang Pulao and not vegetarian biryani. These are green chilies, these are boiled potatoes, this is parboiled rice, this is fennel powder, these are sesame seeds, this is milk with saffron which I've soaked an hour before, these are whole chilies and bay leaves, this is curd, this is fried onions, these are beetroots and this is biryani masala. So for all of you to know the word biryani, biryans means everything fried before and brianch, brianch means rice. So let's cook this vegetarian version of biryani which has become our hot favourite. So to fry all the vegetables, first let's put some oil in the pan. So let's first fry our vegetables. You may add a little bit of salt to the vegetables while frying. Now you can see potatoes have turned golden brown, we'll take them out. Now I'll add beetroot. Beetroot takes little time to get cooked. So we'll have to fry it for say like 5 minutes. Sesame seeds will give the nutty flavour to the biryani. When we make non-vegetarian biryani, all the flavour comes from the meat. But when we are talking about the vegetarian version of biryani, we have to give it flavour from seeds and some aromatic spices and herbs. Now the beetroot is almost done, we can take this also out. You may add any vegetables, seasonal vegetables to your biryani. You may add peas, you may add spinach, you may add uh, mushrooms, whatever you like. But it should be added after frying. Now for the main aroma, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cook curd in this oil with some fennel powder. I'll show you how. This is curd. I'm going to add fennel powder to this. Mix it well. Preferably take thick curd, not the watery one. Now I'll add this to the oil. Along with this, add chilies, some thyme or red pepper. These are fried onions. I'm using one pot to cook and only one pot to serve. So this is truly one pot wonder. So now we'll cook this curd till it becomes a bit thick. The fennel and the rest of the spices will give rich aroma to your pulao. Let's add a little bit of biryani masala. Let's add some coriander. I have some fresh spring onion leaves so I'm going to add this also. Now let's start layering our biryani. The bottom layer should always be of rice. See when I boiled the rice I added a uh, few spices like cloves, moti lychee, choti lychee so that you know all the aroma is infused inside the rice grains also. So this is my first layer. Now I'm going to add this. I'm going to add some potatoes. So now this is the bottom layer. Now we will put this curd curry over it. This will help to cook rice also because rice till now are parboiled. Now we'll add the second layer of rice. Let's add some more potatoes. Now let's add first layer of our fried onions. Let's add some green chilies also to this curry. I'm adding green chilies at the end so that you know they don't become very soggy and you can eat them like a salad. Now will come the second layer of this salad or curd gravy, whatever you may call it. Now we will add the final layer of rice, rest of the vegetables, rest of the salad. So now this is milk with saffron for the flavour. 
I'm going to add on the top. If you have kevra sense or mitha that you may add, but this is purely optional. Just add a drop of it. Now my khushrang pulao is almost ready. I hope you agree this looks khushrang. Now we have to give it dum for like say four to five minutes. I'll cover it with piece of cloth like my dadi style. I'll put the lid over and I'll put it back on the flame for five minutes. So friends, our one pot wonder is ready. You can enjoy this sumptuous pulao. Bye bye. So friends, do follow us on our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for future notifications. For the detailed recipe, press the title of the dish and you will get the detailed written recipe. Bye-bye!